Okay, in this demonstration, we're going to be talking about resonance, particularly pipe resonance. I have a resonance apparatus here with a plastic tube attached to a water reservoir. Now, I can change the depth of the water in the tube by changing the height of the reservoir on the bar. I have a tuning fork over the top of the tube here, and as I hit the tuning fork, you can see over here I have an oscilloscope and a level meter showing you the frequency. It's also picking up my voice, uh, so ignore that part. When we get to the, the resonance of the tube, I'll uh, not speak. But you can see the amplitude here is not very high. We can use the tube to resonate the frequency of the tuning fork in a way that will make the amplitude greater. We can calculate what that depth needs to be. Up here on the board, uh, I have uh, the, the values we'll need to figure that out. First of all, we need to start with the speed of sound. The speed of sound in this room is 1,050 feet per second. We need to convert that to centimeters per second because our tube here is labeled in centimeters. So in centimeters per second, that's 32,020 centimeters per second. The frequency of our tuning fork is 523.2 hertz. To figure out the wavelength of that frequency, we take the speed of sound, divided by the frequency, and we end up with 61.2 centimeters. That's the wavelength of 523.2 hertz. Now, the depth we need to dial in on the tube is going to be one-fourth of that wavelength. So we take our 61.2 centimeter wavelength, divide that by four, and we get 15.3 centimeters. So over here, I'm going to raise the level of the water reservoir, and we're trying to get the level of the water to match this mark, which uh, we've dialed in already at 15.3 centimeters. So here we go, I'll raise it up. And you should be seeing now the water level rising. And I'll hit the tuning fork, and we'll wait for the amplitude to uh, get greater as, the, as we reach our 15.3 centimeters. Almost there. There it is. See how greater the amplitude is now on the oscilloscope. What's happening now is our tube is resonating the frequency of the tuning fork. I can prove it by moving the tuning fork off the pipe. Okay. So this concept of pipe resonance can be found in musical instruments such as wind instruments. The uh, idea being you can change the depth of the, the pipe of a clarinet or a flute by covering the holes. And as you cover the holes, you're changing the, the depth or the length of that pipe and a different frequency resonates. Uh, but this concept of resonance can also apply to boxes and rooms and strings found in other musical instruments and just in sound that propagates naturally in space. So keep this in mind as we study more about wave propagation.